Hi everyone, let us continue the voltage regulator by using Sennar diode. So here we are going to see the condition for which one Sennar diode to operate as a voltage regulator. See here, basically three conditions are there. First one, there must be minimum current in the center diode, I set minimum, and the current in diode is maximum, I set maximum. That is, the minimum current that is, that is the current I set, this I set, it should be between I set minimum and I set maximum. It is less than I set minimum, it will not act on, it will not operate as a voltage regulator. That is 1 milli ampere. And it should be less than I set maximum. If this goes beyond I set maximum, what will be the situation is, sometimes center diode may get damaged because there is a maximum value of current that can be passed through diode. If this goes beyond the, that value, if the current is goes beyond that value, diode may get damaged. That is applicable for each and every equipment. There is a limit of current. If this beyond that one, it will get damaged. So the current that is flowing through center diode that should be between I set minimum and I set maximum. That is this linear region of diode. Okay. Then second condition voltage across center diode. Actually, this is the first condition. Voltage across center diode, we said, that should be greater. Uh, the voltage across center diode, we said, that should be greater than breakdown voltage. Means, this is the breakdown voltage. So, the voltage, we are applied VPS, that is supplied voltage. Some amount of voltage is dissipated across RI. Remaining all voltage is dissipating across center diode that voltage should be greater than the breakdown voltage that will be set. Then only diode will act as a voltage regulator. The last condition is power dissipation in center diode should be less than the rated value. What is the maximum power dissipation of a center diode? What is the equation for power voltage into current? So maximum power dissipation means maximum voltage into maximum current. Here voltage is constant we are considering as a V set value, value V set. Then only current, I set maximum. So V set into I set maximum. If the power dissipating across in the center diode, that should be less than I set maximum in V set. These are the three important conditions to operate one center diode as a voltage regulator. One is the voltage across the center diode that should be greater than center voltage or breakdown voltage. Second one, current pass through the center diode that should be between the minimum current I set and maximum current I set maximum. I set minimum, I set maximum. And the last one is the power dissipation in the center diode should be less than the maximum rated value. These are the condition. Then let us see the operation of center diode as a voltage regulator. So, we are taking this example and we are going to analyze the circuit. For that one, before that one, uh, understand, we have to understand one more thing. Two type regulation is there, voltage regulation. One is land regulation, second one is load regulation. These two you are easily able to understand. The line regulation normally we are seeing. You see the case, you are operating your TV, there will be a stabilizer that is connecting to the TV or fridge. You are connecting your fridge to a supply, there is a stabilizer. So, imagine the case if the supply is fluctuating due to thunderstorm or rain season, supply is fluctuating. Then in that situation, up to a particular range of fluctuation, the stimulation will protect your device. Exactly in the case of TV, the older place we can see. 
Now your device is protecting by this stabilizer. So the even though variation in the supply voltage that is your supply line, the device is protected by the stabilizer. So fluctuation in the supply that is line that is known as line regulation changes in the voltage in the supply voltage uh, supply line that is avoiding by the regulation that is line regulation. Second one is load regulation. Load regulation means you design a stabilizer if particular value of current and voltage and power and you are connecting that stabilizer to a fridge after that you sold out that fridge you purchase new fridge with the same specification means your stabilizer can be used for the second newly buy fridge in this situation the fridges are changed that is you had earlier you had one fridge you sold out the new one you, you have bought then you are using the same stabilizer means load is changed even the load is changed the stabilizer is supposed to give the stabilization provided that the voltage and voltage current and power rating of these two fridges are same then that is known as load regulation so line regulation means fluctuation in the supply is avoiding load regulation means your stabilizer is able to perform with the different load with the same specification that is the range of voltage and current in that stabilizer is providing stabilization whatever the loads you are connecting to the stabilizer it should be given the stabilization in that range so first one we are going to see line regulation so easy to understand line regulation we can take this figure here the supply voltage is changing vs is changing imagine vs is changing but rl is fixed rl value is fixed then this since rl is fixed there is no any change in resistance and vz is supposed to be constant so since RL is fixed, we are also assuming that IL also supposed to be constant. Resistance is fixed, so the current also supposed to be constant. Then which are the parameter? Vs is going to change. Imagine Vs is going to increase. We are going to increase Vs. Then by default, Is should be increased. When Is is increasing, what will happen? the IL is fixed it should not change so even though IS is increased IL is fixed it should not change then what is the only option IZ should be increased so this is we have seen in the case of diode. its cara is like this even though increase in the voltage or current it is providing constant voltage for large amount of increasing current, it is giving same voltage. So for the same voltage we said, it is giving, it is bypassing large amount of current. So by increasing the voltage Vs, the incoming current is increased, but RL is fixed. So IL, that is the same current, it is going to pass. So the increased current, we can say the plus delta i that increased current that will pass through this i z plus delta i z plus delta i is the current passing through the center means due to increase in vs there is a increase in current plus i delta i that increased current will not pass through this load resistance it will pass through v z so it is keeping by keeping the V Z as a constant. So the opposite case you can easily understand if you are decreasing the voltage, you are decreasing the voltage by default, I S supposed to be decreased, then the 
incoming current will decrease minus delta i minus delta i then that decrease in i it should not happen in il if it is decrease il is decreased then what will happen r is fixed then il into r will decrease the voltage across this one will decrease it should not happen il should be constant then only il into r we will get constant voltage to keep il as constant then only we will get constant voltage the current in the center i set i set will decrease as i set minus i l i set minus delta i okay so if it is increase the volt voltage line voltage the increased current will bypass by i set and i l become i l keeps as constant so i l into r is fixed if supply voltage is decrease then there is a decrease in current in the supply line then that decreased current also affected in semi current i set that is i set minus delta i then it is uh, keeping i l is constant so that we are getting fixed current so this i set plus delta i and i set minus delta i that should not should be between the limit i set minimum and i set maximum that is the condition for the design if it is less than i uh, i set minimum then this diode will lose the function of water regulation this goes above the uh, i set plus and delta is goes above the i set maximum then diode may get damaged then you can see this is the diagram for line regulation that is what is the change in output voltage with respect to supply voltage delta v out divided by vs means change in supply voltage divided by so change in output voltage you are increasing the supply voltage or decreasing the supply voltage corresponding the output voltage you are noting this is the output voltage v out so this change in output voltage with respect to change in supply voltage you are not no doubt you are noting down then you are floating that one take the change that slope this slope this slope you are going to measure this slope you are going to measure then ideally this value will be zero for line regulation ideal value that is changing sub output voltage should be zero ideally it should be like this there should not be any change in the output voltage with the change of input signal it should be like this but practically it will not be like that there will be change so this is the case of line regulation we have to cover one more regulation that is load regulation that one we can see in the next video thank you